everyone and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're going to be making a brand new My Little Pony custom. For this video, I'm going to make another split pony. I recently made a video that was half Princess Cadence and half Queen Chrysalis and she turned out really really cool looking. And many of you requested a Princess Celestia and Daybreaker custom. So that's what we're going to make today. So I'm super excited. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is take some acetone and take off the markings on her body. So we're going to take off the necklace here and also the glitter and the paint on her hooves. We're also going to take off her eyes so her face is going to be completely blank. Next, we're going to cut off her hair. For this custom, I'm going to be using clay to rebuild her hair. I recently made a daybreaker custom using regular hair, so if you have not checked out that video, make sure to do so after this video. Now to paint her eyes. I've penciled in her eyes already, just to make sure that they're even, and we're going to start painting daybreaker side. So using black, I'm going to trace her eyebrows up on the top, and then line her eyes. And using a very dark brown, we're going to fill in the lower half of her eyes and a very dark orange for her upper lids. Now we're going to draw a line separating her lids and add eyelashes. Then with yellow, we're going to add irises. So they're going to be very small and near the front. And then give her very small black pupils. Now on Princess Celestia's side, I'm going to start with the eyebrows. So it's going to be a little check mark, just like Daybreakers. And then we're going to draw in the rest of her eye. Add some eyelashes and fill in the inside with white. For our irises, we're going to use purple. I'm going to draw a big round iris and add black pupils and dot it with white. Using gray, we're going to paint a frown on her face. And this frown will work for both Princess Celestia and Daybreaker. Using white, we're going to paint her wings. So we're going to make sure to paint both wings and also the inside and the outside. For the hooves, I'm going to paint Daybreaker side a dark orange. And I'm going to paint Celestia's side yellow. We're also going to paint the edges of Daybreaker's wings orange. Using a bit of air dry clay, I want to make Celestia's necklace. On the right side, we're going to make Daybreaker's chest plate. Now we're ready to make the main. I flattened out a piece of oven baked clay and we're going to carefully cut out a shape of her mane. So it's going to be a little bit wavy and taper off on the end. Now I'm going to smooth it a little bit and bake it. We're going to do the same thing for the tail. We're going to make it nice and long. I'm going to smooth it down. I'm going to curl it 
and then bake it. To make Daybreaker's flames, I'm going to use this Sculpey Translucent Liquid Bakeable Clay. And I'm going to mix this with pieces of regular clay. So I'm just going to put it into this little pot with some pieces in here and we're just going to stir it up. And we're going to mix it until it has this pasty texture to it. Once it's nice and smooth, I'm going to add some color. So on the left side, I'm going to add yellow. And on the right side, I'm going to add orange. With a spatula, I'm just going to spackle it on. And we're going to make sure it has a lot of texture, so I'm not going to smooth it down at all. I'm going to start with orange. And then layer the yellow on top. And I want the colors to mix a little bit. And of course, we're only doing this on Daybreaker's side. We're going to do the same for the tail. I'm going to start with a large glob, and we're just going to spread it out. This is actually a lot of fun. It's kind of like making a cake. And then I'm going to add orange on top. Once we're done, we're going to bake it so that it hardens. Alright, so this is now hardened. Doesn't it look cool? So I have the tail and also the mane here. And of course, Celestia's side is still blank, so we're going to have to paint it. For Celestia's tail and mane, we're going to use four colors. On the top is a teal color. And we're going to make sure to do both the tail and the mane. And then a light green. Under the green is a bluish purple color. and pink on the very bottom. On Celestia's side, we're going to add some extra hair on the front and we're going to curve it to the back and blend it into her mane. On the right side, we're going to make Daybreaker's helmet. So I have a flat piece of clay and we're going to press it against her face. We're going to start by cutting it straight down the middle and then shape the helm around her nose and then have it go around her eyes. Back on Celestia's side, we're going to add half a crown. On Daybreaker's side, we're going to add a crown over her helm and we're going to blend it into the helmet. Next, we're going to paint the necklaces. So on Celestia's side, we're going to paint it yellow. I'm going to paint her little crystal purple. On Daybreaker's side, we're going to paint it orange. And we're also going to draw half a sun. We're going to start with yellow. And then add golden rays. Also using yellow, we're going to paint Daybreaker's helmet. And then we're going to add details with orange. Now we're ready to paint the cutie marks. For Daybreaker, we're going to keep Celestia's sun. We're going to paint an orange background behind it. On Celestia's side, we're actually going to paint Princess Luna's cutie mark. And this is because in the Daybreaker episode, Celestia and Luna have switched cutie marks. Alright everyone, 
we are finally done! So this custom took a really long time, but I think it was really worth it. Take a look at Celestia here. So this is only the right side of Celestia, so you can see that her hair here is flowy and flying in the back. She is wearing her crown, her eyes a little bit concerned and upset, and she has a slight frown on her face. And of course, she's also wearing her necklace. And over here is Princess Luna's cutie mark. Uh, in this episode, they have swapped uh, cutie marks. And here in the back is her tail. So I added some glitter to it so it is very sparkly too. But it's nice and flowy into the back of her body. And on this side, of course, we have Daybreaker. Oh my gosh. So Daybreaker here it has very angry eyes and a big frown on her face and she's also wearing her helmet so her helmet is two colors it is uh, orange and yellow and um, it covers most of her the back of her head and of course her wings and her hooves are also um, orange and she has her cutie mark here and her hair so her hair is textured we used the clay to create this fire texture and i added some gold just to make it super sparkly and i think it turned out really cool so you can see here it looks like it's um yes it kind of looks like flames to me and also down here on her tail where it's a little bit wavy and of course, this is looking at her from the front. You can see both sides of her. Isn't that kind of cool? I really like the way these uh, split customs turn out because you can see kind of both sides. You can see her and her alter ego at the same time. And just to compare, I have my Princess Cadence and Queen Christmas uh, custom here. This one is also a split pony. And over here, I have my other Daybreaker pony. And so this one is a regular custom. And as you can see, they are actually quite different because one uses hair and the other one uses clay, but these both use Princess Celestia as the base. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my half Celestia, half Daybreaker pony. And are there any other half customs that you'd like to see in the future? As always, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!